So here we are with the temporary through hole resistor soldered on. Not very securely I have to say but it's okay for the test until I can get a, um, a surface mount resistor. And uh, what's really interesting is uh, it wasn't a 10 ohm resistor, it was a 100 ohm resistor so I must have read the really tiny code a little bit wrong. So uh, let's have a look what's happening with the data stream. I've got it connected via the yellow cable there to my laptop and here you see we're getting a valid data stream so it's repaired which is fabulous to know and what I'll do temporarily is I'll just put a little bit of uh, a retainer on that resistor so that it can't sort of flop around uh, a little bit of hot melt glue uh, just a dab of it and then when the surface mount resistor arrives we'll be good to go but there you go there's uh, an example of of how you can uh, save yourself three thousand dollars and uh, I suspect there's a few farms out there that have blown that little resistor in any case, I'm going to get myself, a, when I can afford one, another flam uh, as a spare. I need a second IGC logger anyway, so I'll go ahead and do that at some point. But it's nice to know that with a little bit of uh, knowledge and a little bit of persistence, uh, it's all repaired.